All right, y'all. So today we have Laura Yi from the University of the Pacific School of Dentistry. How are you doing today, Laura? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Thank you. Thank you. So let's go ahead and just hop into it. So if okay. you could please give us a brief summary of your dental school journey. So uh, where you're from, where you went to undergrad, what you major in, and did you take a year off? Um, so I'm from San Jose, California, the Bay Area. Okay. And I went to undergrad for University of the Pacific. So I went through the pre-dental program. Okay. Um, I went through the two plus three pre-dental program. And after the two years in undergrad, um, where I didn't actually get my degree, but I was like on the biology major track, just because of the program. If you're in the two year one, you don't have to get your degree. It's a little bit weird. Okay. But um, yeah, so after the two years in undergrad, went to dental school and I'm currently a D2 at University of the Pacific in San Francisco. So you are really young. <laughs> I'm pretty young. Yeah, I'm 21. That's awesome. That's awesome. Do you feel like that's like, do people like, does it make a difference as far as age, you think? Like the fact that you're, I'm, probably, I'm sure you're one of the youngest in your class. Is that like, does that feel different to you or does that feel weird? I wouldn't weird? say it feels any different. Um, actually, a lot of my friends are like some of the oldest people in my class. Mm. Um and but i don't think like the age thing really does make a huge difference for me it's like it it's just nobody really thinks about it that much in the beginning i think everybody was like oh that's a little bit weird but now it's just kind of normal okay and also i'm the one who's like i'm on instagram and everyone's like okay whatever she's like the 20 year old you know <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> okay okay that's awesome that's awesome and so um so i was gonna ask you so obviously you all have this program but do y'all have any mm -hmm. other programs like geared towards pre dents who might be interested uh, in Pacific Dental School? Like, is there any a way for pre dents to kind of get involved so that they can, um, you know, show their face or just kind of show interest mm. within the school? There's actually a um, dental boot camp that hmm. I think it's, it was going on. I went and like talked about social media for one weekend, but it was this program that lasts a few weeks and mm -hmm. every Saturday people come into our school and then um, they talk about like how to do fillings. They let them do like amalgam fillings and impressions on each other. Um, it's actually really hands-on and it's mm -hmm. really awesome. And if you put that on your application, I heard it's like pretty good. And they also give like mock interviews. And I think they talk to like our head interview person. I'm not quite sure on the details, but it's but pretty regardless, nice. It's, like, it's worth yeah. the shot, right? <laughs> it's worth the shot and it's pretty fun. Right, right, yeah. right. Awesome, awesome. Thank you for that. Okay. Yeah. And so. You still have to take the DAT, correct? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. And so, um, you know, a lot of our audience will always ask us, like, what we think is, like, the number one tip. And, you know, we're kind of, we haven't taken the DAT in, like, four yeah. or five it's years It's been a while. Now. It's been yeah. a while. So, I, I want to ask you just kind of, like, what do you think is the, the best resource? For me, the best resource was DAT Bootcamp, which I always stand behind and I'm always like DAT Bootcamp all the way. Um, I use DAT Bootcamp and DAT Destroyer. And DAT Destroyer was really hard and oh boy, that one was rough going through it. But um, it definitely pushed you to like the harder questions. So when you went and went back to DAT Bootcamp, you're like, oh, like, no problem. Right, right, you know? right, right, right. Um, but I definitely jumped back and forth between the two and like, every day I would wake up and be like, okay, today my, my bio scores are really bad. Like I got to work on that one. Right, 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 so right. I didn't really have like a schedule. I just kind of went each day. I'm like, I'm feeling the PAT today, you know, <laughs> which is not the greatest, like, it's not the best. Yeah, I'm like, advice. okay. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling it. But no, but honestly, if that's worked, if that worked for you, that worked for you, you know, so. Yeah. Um, and I think it, it's very hard to answer that question, you know, and be, uh, subjective you know it's hard yeah. to be because everybody has their own their own circumstances everybody's better at different subjects than the next person so it's just it's hard it's difficult it's it's weird definitely and so how was your interview or did you still have like a normal interview or did you just yeah okay so how'd that interview go like how was your yeah. interview day? the interview at UOP is actually pretty easy I would say um the the process is um you come in like it's just the usual interview i would say it's they they're very nice to you during the entire interview process 
and well, I guess they should be for everybody, but like I would say for you especially, like you just walk in and everyone's like super nervous at the beginning. Mm-hmm. But after maybe like an hour, you realize that no, they're just here to kind of show you the school, right? And just to like so that you get a feeling of it rather than um, them like interrogating you. Right. So you have an interview with a student, which is like super easy because. Mm-hmm. You know, just like pretend like they're your friend, you know, like no problem. <laughs> and then um, and then you have an interview with the faculty. Some of them get a little bit scary, but I would say like 95% of the faculty that are school are like super chill because they're doing this out of their own time, you know. So of course they want to have some fun too. Of course. So for my interviewer, like half, so he sat me down and he was like, okay, so this first half, you're going to talk about you. And then second half, you can ask me questions. So I was like, oh boy, okay. So I was just sitting there the second half, just like questions, questions. So it's really good to have like a bunch of questions to ask. Okay, awesome, yeah. awesome. And so U of P, UOP, University of Pacific. <laughs> um, so you all are like the only third year, three year school, correct? I think so, yeah. Okay, okay. And so I'm sure your first year is a little bit different compared to other dental schools. So can you kind of like mm-hmm. walk us through how your first year was as far as like structure? Uh, were you all able to be in clinic at all? Like what was the kind of layout of that first year? So first year was basically like the first day that you came in, they put a hand piece in your hand and they're like, have fun. And we're all oh, like, wow. oh my gosh. <laughs> and then, um, so basically like by the first week we were doing preps, um on like flat teeth and by like week two I don't really remember exactly but it was crazy fast they're just like here's a hand piece here's a prep boom practical and then after like the first class one practical it's like here's your here's your crown prep Mm -hmm. we're like oh my gosh we just held these hand pieces um but I would say the three-year program only really works because they squeeze like all of the science classes um I know it's like changing a little bit because the curriculum's changing with all of the new uh, boards, Mm -hmm. exams changing. So, but we took anatomy, biochem, physio, um, and a few other classes. Yeah, it's (laughs) a lot, it's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. It was a lot of classes. And honestly, I couldn't really keep track of them. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so first year was definitely like the toughest year. Mm -hmm. It was just like the material itself wasn't, super difficult well it was difficult but it wasn't like because the material is difficult it was because there's so much material that they just threw at you all at once um so that was the hardest thing for me first year okay awesome awesome and i'm sorry i might have missed this do you all go i know you all get the hand pieces you're practicing crown preps yeah or doing these uh these ideal preps but um were you able to like assist in clinic at all or you could assist in clinic whenever you wanted to. Okay. Um, especially during night clinics, like on t- uh, Mondays and Thursdays, we have night clinics from six to eight thirty. Wow. And right. then, um, yeah, so you could go in whenever, go assist people. I know most people, a lot of people did it just because you don't have time. There's so much other stuff going on, right? Exactly. Um, but I know, like for example, I started going into clinic more during the fourth quarter when we were more free and more relaxed. Um, because I was getting a little bit worried for clinic second mm-hmm. year, so I started going into clinic at night clinics or just honestly whenever I had time. Sometimes if my friend was doing something really interesting, I would just skip some class and then rush to assist them. You know, like yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. I mean, yeah. So you know, sometimes you might just need a break, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. And so. You know, I've asked everybody this, and you kind of have, like, an easy, like, cop-out, because I wasn't going to ask, you know, like, what is significant about UOP, uh, what makes uh-huh. it unique, and you can't say the three-year thing, so we're going to take that okay. off the table. So, what is else is something that, you know, you feel like only at University of Pacific Dental School, like, it's specific to the dental school? Like, what's that one thing? I would say, ooh. Our school always loves talking about how great, like, like, oh, hand skills, you know, but I feel like that one is really rough because it's like, how do you know that we have, like, good hand skills? Because, right, you right, know, right, we don't really, like, compare us to schools and stuff, but I don't know. I feel like each school is kind of unique. Like, if you just look at San Francisco at UCSF, mm-hmm. um, their, like, 
environment is so much different from ours because mm -hmm. um, even though we're both in San Francisco, ours is in like the center of San Francisco. Mm -hmm. um, so our rent is more expensive. Um, the area is not the greatest. <laughs> but I feel like because of that, we get like um, more unique patients because mm -hmm. we're in such proximity to the BART station, um, all that stuff. Honestly, I've never really like visited other schools and talked too much about their patient pools and stuff so maybe this is like completely like you, know, off yeah. the, you know i'm completely off but i think it's pretty awesome that we're in the center of san francisco and we're like a really our building is really new so it's really pretty okay okay yeah it matters you know it matters yeah. it does matter okay and so last question of the interview i wanted to ask you if you were to go back um and granted i know your situation was a little bit different because you kind of you did the two three two three program but um uh -huh. you know if you could talk to your younger self while you were going through the application process the dat and what's one piece of advice you would uh, you would have given yourself if you could um i would say don't give up because I know like a lot of my friends they applied they went to post facts they applied multiple times you know um during those times they spent like they did they boosted their grades they um helped out in dental offices they became dental assistants you know and even though it might feel like you're like oh no there goes another application cycle where i didn't make it or i didn't get to the dream school that i wanted mm -hmm. um all of my friends who ended up where they were today you know they're doing great and the people who did spend that time dental assisting it ended up being so helpful in dental school. It's just crazy to me because then like the rest of us maybe who didn't like volunteer as much or didn't have as much experience in the dental office, um, we don't know these things like maybe taking x-rays. And then like, I've never taken x-rays before. And oh my gosh, the first time I took x-rays are so bad. <laughs> but my friends who were like, oh yeah, like no problem. I used to take these all the time. Just go in and no problem you know yeah. right 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 so like no matter what happens it's like what you make of that time and honestly even going to travel would help too you know like having experiences and talking to more people and you know just doing anything in that free time is definitely going to help you in some way right right living life just go outside i mean granted we can't really do that yeah now, yeah but... i know <laughs> <laughs> but in general, in general, just go outside. yeah, yeah. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Laura, thank you so much for this thank interview. Thank you so much. You've been very, very uh, helpful. I do want to ask if any of our viewers want to reach out to you with questions, what's the best way that they can contact you? Um, my Instagram at Dr. Teeth Boutique. Okay. My DMs, I'm not the best at responding to DMs, but I try and I'll, I'll reach it. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Of course, I'll put that in the description box. Be okay. like. But uh, once again, from the Future DDS family and community, we want to say thank you so much for helping us out today. Thank you. <laughs> Everybody. Have a good day. Oh, you too. You too. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were done. Okay, keep on going. No, no, you're, good, you're good. No, you're good. Everybody, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. If you have any questions for Future DDS, uh, please shoot us a DM and go to our Instagram at underscore Future DDS and we'll get to you. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. <laughs> Everybody, see y'all later.